I am Ara and welcome back to my channel and let me originally I created this med school channel with my fellow med students in mind because I wanted to share my tips my experiences because I know that you guys can relate but it turns out now after a few months of doing YouTube I realized that I'm actually serving a younger audience and these are the high school students hello or siguro kayo lang yung mahilig mag comment so thank you and because of that this week's video is dedicated to because I've been asked a couple of times parang ate aura what should we do in high school in order to prepare us for med school? And, <laughs> sa totoo lang ha, honestly, deep inside, every time I read that question, I'm like, there's really nothing you can do to prepare you for med school or it's just so early. And no, I'm not gonna give you a list of books that you should be studying. Don't worry about med school yet. That's what I wanna say. But actually, when I think about it, there are actually some things that you can do to prepare you for med school and in this video I will share to you what I have to say about that. So I hope this helps you and even if you're not yet in high school or you're already done with high school, I'm sure you can get a few tips here. If you do, please don't forget to share it to help other people as well, okay? Let's get started. Number one. I'm not gonna tell you to get high grades. I'm not gonna tell you to be at the honor section or something like that because guess what med schools will not ask for your tor or your report cards they won't care they only get your college grades and your nmat and your interview and their entrance exams but still i would advise you that as early as high school i want you to develop a good attitude towards school in general I don't need your high grades but I want you to be able to say that you actually enjoy learning, that you love school, that you look forward to your classes and that you get excited every time you get high grades and you are kind of affected every time you get low grades because it should motivate you to study even harder. That's a good and healthy attitude towards school and I want you to develop that because you're gonna keep on doing it until you're like an adult. So I think that's good preparation. So if you're wondering how are you supposed to do that? First of all, it's just all in the mindset. So stop saying you hate school. Stop saying that you hate your teachers, that you hate your homework. Stop complaining about your readings and your long list of lectures to study don't treat it as a challenge to yourself as your responsibility and as your source of fulfillment and I actually talked more about that already in another video where I told you all about what I think of grades and blah 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 so just check it out it's linked below I just want you to fall in love with learning and take your job as a student seriously because again that's what you'll be doing seriously in med school that's it and it would really help if you develop that as early as high school number two number two is again I'm not gonna tell you to be an all-out nerd and just focus on your grades no there are other ways to prepare for med school holistically so yes, you should join that org no matter what club that is. You should go expose yourself in other aspects aside from academics. Because one way or another, it will help you. Like for example, I joined the student council and it took up a lot of my time. And admittedly, it made my grades not so stellar. <laughs> but because of the student council, I learned leadership skills. I learned how to manage projects. I learned how to communicate and influence people and all those skills are actually helpful if i want to become a doctor someday and just the same if you want to play sports you know it's only in sports where you get to experience healthy competition and teamwork and discipline those are important skills as well likewise if you want to go to theater or perform if you do that you can become confident and creative and those are also very important 
as a doctor someday, you should be able to carry yourself well. And you're going to be asked to do some crazy difficult things that you have to be confident about. And please, let's not dismiss the importance of creativity among doctors. I, for one, believe that we all have a creative side and creativity breeds compassion. And I can talk more and more about that maybe in another video. The point of all this is that I just want you to expose yourself to different activities and extracurriculars aside from just studying because that will hone your different skills as well. And one way or another, it will help you in med school and in your becoming a doctor. In terms of books that you should read, no, the I'm not going to advise you to read our med school books or even browse it because it's just too much. <laughs> Here are our subjects. We have anatomy, biochemistry, physiology. We have research. Those are the basics. That's it. Mm -hmm. Maybe anatomy books. They're just diagrams and they're very interesting for me. So no, no advanced studying. I won't advise it. So yeah, let's be practical. As early as now, sige, you can look for possible med schools that you can go into. And there are lots. And for a complete list of the med schools in the Philippines, you can probably check out the results of the physician licensure exams. So this is the top 10 for 2017. So maybe this can give you an idea of the med schools that you can apply to. But please, I don't want you to think that this ranking on this year's physician licensure exam is like the only basis of what med school you should go into. Again, there are lots of things to consider. And should you worry so much about your pre-med course already? Um, no, not really. Not even. Just worry about that in third year or fourth year when the application forms are already there. Okay, next advice on what you should be doing in high school in order to prepare you for med school. Well, not only for med school, this advice is super in general. But I want you to pick your friends wisely. And I want you to surround yourself with like-minded people. With good influence kids. And just pick your friends wisely. And I don't know if this is really doable or I just got super lucky. But my best friends since grade school, we are all still best friends until now. And a lot of us actually went to med school, so that really helped. It made everything so much easier for me and for them, I'm sure. Because at least we can relate to each other and we can understand each other when we're not available or we're just busy studying. And in the future, it's still gonna be us. We're there to support each other, to pursue our dreams no matter how big they are. That's how important friendship is for me. And I believe that our bestest friends can be found in high school. I hope that you get lucky enough as well. But if you're mindful about it, I'm sure you can make it happen. Magagawin mo ng paraan yan. Just stick to those nice, good kids with big dreams as big as yours. <laughs> but wait, I want you to know that I hung out with lots of different kinds of kids as well. <sighs> Not just the goody-goody ones like me, <laughs> but the ones that I decided to keep, my bestest friends until now, they're the good kind. <laughs> okay, next. Because in the States, I know there's this concept of shadowing a physician. Or like doing part-time jobs in the hospital. Although I'm not sure, I don't think there are any programs right now to organize like high school students who want to do shadowing but you can do one yourself if you really want to and when i say shadowing by the way i wasn't able to explain shadowing is when you literally become someone's shadow for a day to see what that person does in his or her job so specifically for physicians you want to be able to join the doctor during his rounds when he looks at the patients, when he writes on the charts, basically experience what it's like to be a doctor for a day and see what it's like if you like that lifestyle. 
And as early as high school, yes, you can do that, especially if you have connections. And if you don't, I want you to start with your own family doctor or your pediatrician or your mom's OB. Someone whom your family trusts and know. It would be great if you can get personal advice from him or her. And I'm sure you'll be inspired. And I remember when I was in high school, we had to do an essay and I actually interviewed my mom's OB and she was one of the people who encouraged me to pursue medicine. Now, when it comes to research and community work, if you can do that in high school, that would be great as well. Because when it's time for med school interview, they are going to ask you that. What are your involvements in high school or in college? that show that you actually have an interest in medicine. And it would be great, diba, if you can say that, oh, it started in high school when I did this investigative project on the effects of tobacco on the whatever, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure in your science classes, you're required to do researches or investigative or demonstrative projects. Take those projects seriously. And you never know. And even the community work, why not try to do volunteer work in your community? Just talk to your barangay official or your whoever's in charge in your community. If there are any upcoming medical missions or Operation Tule, whatever activity that you can volunteer at. Aside from it being a good talking point in your interviews, it will really expose you to the world that you're going to choose. Because in med school and in medicine in general, it's all about sharing yourselves to others. And if you enjoy that, if you enjoy serving, then that's good preparation, diba? Right? Lastly, I guess I would say that as early as high school, I want you to prepare by putting in mind that if you're gonna be a doctor, then you should be willing to dedicate your teenage years, your young adult years into studying and working long hours without pay. And I know it sounds so bad, like it's such a big sacrifice, but trust me, it's not all that bad. I'm doing it right now. We're all doing it right now. And it just gets better and better eventually. <laughs> So anyway, I think my bestest advice ever is for you to just subscribe to this channel. <laughs> no, because grabbing a man, I make these videos for you guys who don't have a mentor, who don't have a big sister or brother to talk about med school. And I'm very happy to be of help so far. So just watch all my other videos. Everything is there. Everything you need to know. And if you want to know more, just comment or email me and let me know and I'll try to talk about it, okay? So basically, the point of this whole video is what to do in high school to prepare you for med school, subscribe to this channel. That's it. <laughs> so that's it. I hope you liked this video and I helped you today. And if you have more questions, just post them below and I'll answer them as best as I can. And don't forget to also visit my blog at OurAzarcon.com because in there, I have written articles about med school tips and also my personal experiences when I was a med student myself. So just to get a glimpse of what you're getting yourself into. That's it for now and I decided to change my end credits because I'm so So here's a new one. Bye!